Pinakamalakas sa palakpak sa Panginoon. Woo! Wala tayong torotot. Ano ba yan? Happy New Year! Amen. And today po, my, my topic will be, okay, this one. Okay, my topic will be new every morning. Kanina pa po natin yan, no? May play kanina. Okay? And, and yung, yung kant na, na gusto ko pong itatak nyo sa inyong mga puso ninyo. And actually, that's a verse. At yan ang main theme po natin ngayong hapon po na ito. Alam nyo, most of the time, when we say New Year, can you say New Year? New Year. Yes. Pag sinabi mong New Year, no? No year, bagong taon, parang para sa atin, kadikit nito palagi ang mga salitang ito. Pag bagong taon, ibig sabihin bagong simula. Tama po ba? ba diba, bagong taon, ibig sabihin bagong buhay. Nangyari ba? Yung 2022, sabi mo, bagong taon, bagong simula, bagong buhay, nangyari ba? ba diba? Pag sinabi mong bagong taon, bagong buhay. Pag sinabi mong bagong taon, bagong pag-asa. ba diba? yan, yan, yan yun eh. Yan ang mga, yan ang pumapasok sa isip natin. Kaya nga po, lahat tayo puyat eh. Salamat kay sa leadership na ito na pinahintulutan nyo one-third and service. Bakit lahat tayo puyat? Sumigaw, nag-celebrate. Why? Kasi para sa atin, ang bagong taon is bagong simula, bagong pag-asa, bagong buhay. Okay? So, kalaki po ng pagpapalit ng taon, kay una ay ang pag-iwan sa nagtatapos na taon. Babay 2022. Okay? So, kalapit na, kal- kalakip ng pag-iwan sa natapos na taon ay ang pag-iwan din ng mga pangit. Huwag ka tumingin sa katabi mo. At huwag mong iwan din yan. Sorry pa, walang pangit sa church na to. <laughs> Pero ang pag-iwan sa mga pangit at mga masalimuot na karanasan. So baka yung pagsigaw mo kahapon may hugot yun ah. Ah, ayoko na! Ayan. Iniwan na kita! Ayan. Ganun ba hindi? Okay. Pero pag sinabi mong bagong taon, it's like, papasok ka ng 2023, iniiwan mo yung pangit, iniiwan mo yung masalimuot na mga pangyayari noong 2022. Pangalawa, pag sinabi mong bagong taon, ay simbolo ng pag-asa na makakapagsimula ka ng bagong buhay. Pero alam nyo po ba, ladies and gentlemen, na hindi nyo na kailangan maghintay ng bagong taon para magsimula ng bagong buhay. So, ibig sabihin ba niya, pag nagkamali ka, hintay na lang ulit tayo ng 2024? Alam niyo po, bagamat ang ganda nito, no? Alam mo, I, I love New Year's. Tama, second chance. You know, hope. ba? Diba? And, and, you know, we, again, we can start again. Okay, we can have a new life. I love New Year's, no? Hindi ko yan, hindi ko yan binubura. But sinasabi ko lang na alam nyo ba na hindi na natin kailangan maghintay ng bagong taon. Okay? Para magsimula muli sapagkat ang bawat umaga na daraan sa ating buhay ay simbolo ng pag-asa. You know, it's not just New Year, but in the Bible, it's new Every morning. Every morning. Not just every year. It's a second chance given to us by God. It's every morning. Sabi mo nga yan sa katabi mo, it's every morning. His steadfast love His mercies never comes to an end and it's new every single day. Open your Bibles to Lamentations 3, 22 to 24. At dito po, actually this is the central theme of this chapter. No? Okay, babasahin ko po in verse 22 sabi niya, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. And they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. 
Verse 24, the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. What, what a great way to start our new year. Hello? Hello? You know, I'm tempted to talk about visions. I'm te tempted to talk about dreams. I'm tempted to talk about conquest. Hello? But God wants us to just go back to his love and know that, hey, it's not just every year. Though, okay yan, mag-celebrate tayo, new year! But to be honest, it's not just every year, it's new. Every single day. Amen. Now, I want to tell you po, okay, I want to give you the background about lamentations. Kasi magugulat po kayo, if you think that, wow, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. If you think that this is, you know, a, you know, a book that, that um, it, it, this is a feel-good book. Diba? Ang ganda eh, lamentations. The steadfast, it's, it, it, it's like a feel-good book. But do you know that lamentations, sa Tagalog na lang, ang ibig sabihin po ay panaghoy. So, ibig sabihin, listen to me, na ito pong libro na ito, okay, itong chapter na to, five chapters lang, lamentation, this is not a feel-good book. Actually, this poetic, poetic book, okay, ito pong poetic book na ito, describe niya yung grief and misery okay, nung writer at nire-represent niya yung nation Israel about po sa destruction na nangyari po sa Jerusalem. Including nawasak yung walls, nawasak yung templo, namatay ang mga tao. Amen. At yung Israel po ay wala. Okay. They fell into the hands of the Babylonians. 587 B.C. Hello? So talagang you know, this is a, this is a book that, galing po sa salitang lament, marara, kakara, ma, uh, dinidescribe niya yung grief, dinidescribe niya yung depression, yung misery, it's a dark book. Mabigat yung libro. Actually, kaya hindi ito yung pinipritch eh. Kasi mabigat. Gusto natin sa church, ano mo yun, yung talagang may encourage lahat. Okay, no to depression na, no to anxiety, ay, ay, ayaw natin yan. Okay, kaya hindi po ito ay pinipreach. Pero makikita po natin na sa libro may, may, may chapter about may chapter about depression. May chapter about grief. Hello? Hello? So ito pong lamentation, sinulat po ng propetang si Jeremiah okay, during the aftermath of the destruction of the Temple of Solomon and the city of Jerusalem. Okay, actually, ang tawag po dito sa lamentation ay how book. The book of how. Okay, Hebrew is eka. And ibig sabihin ng how. Hindi po how, hindi yung book ng papaano, no, no, ng tatanong yung writer, papaano, no, 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 no. Okay, ano ibig sabihin ng book of how? Because in chapters 1, 2, and, 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 and 4, lahat yan, Okay, nagsimula sa salitang how. Okay, pag sinabi mo how, hindi nga nagtatanong how, pero describe how terrible it is when the judgment of God fell upon the land and the citizens of Jerusalem and Judah. So describe nung author how terrible the destruction was. Sige, daan na lang natin. Silip tayo in chapter 1. Sabi niya, oh, unang-una. Unang-una, ha? Introduction. Nung chapter 1 ng Lamentations. How deserted lies the city. So, describe niya how deserted. Okay? Okay, lies the city. One so full of people. Punong-puno ng tao. How like a widow is she who once once great among the nations. Okay? She who was queen among the provinces has now become a slave. So, pinakita niya 
kung papaano wala nang tao, namatay na mga tao, parang widow at ngayon slave na. Dati queen, ngayon slave na. May kausap po ba ako rito? And in chapter 2, how na naman nag-umpisa, how the Lord has covered daughter Zion with the cloud of his, angel, of his anger. He has hurled down the splendor of Israel from heaven to earth. He has not remembered his footstool in the day of his anger. So, di ba, describe how angry God was to, to, to the land, to the point that he destroyed them. Hello? Na hindi daw niya na naalala yung footstool niya. describe na footstool yung bansa. Pero ngayon, di ba, describe papaano, how, galit na galit ng Panginoon. And in chapter 4, how the gold has lost the, its luster. The fine gold become dull. The sacred gems are scattered at every street corner. How the precious children of Zion once worth their weight in gold are now considered as pots of clay, the work of a potter's hand. So how used here, it's not a word that asks a question, but a word that is making an observe at pinakita how terrible or unimaginable. Alam na, prinafisay na naman to ni Jeremiah eh. Pero hindi makapaniwala si Jeremiah na nangyari nga. Hindi siya, hindi siya naniniwala. Hello, are you here? Pero hindi siya makapaniwala. Na, oh, this happened. And oh, how terrible it was for the people of Jerusalem and Judah. Hello, do you know how terrible kung ano pong nangyari? Okay, actually, isa po ito sa landmark. Landmark po ito. Markahan niyo po itong nangyari po na ito, itong destruction na ito. Okay, okay ito po ay isa sa pinakamahalaga na binabalikan ng Israel patungkol sa nangyari po sa kanila. This is a landmark. And do you know what happened? Nung panahon po na yun, sinako po sila, pinatay po sila ng Babylon, sinakop sila ng Babylon, Wala po silang maayos sa supply ng tubig at pagkain dahil pinutol ito ng mga Babylons nung pinaligiran sila na matay ang mga tao sa gutom. Yung iba na nakasurvive sa loob ng walled city of Jerusalem ay, are you, are you ready? Nakalagay po ito sa Lamentations 4.10 para yung ako nabasahin, ay nag-commit na rin ng cannibalism. para lang mabuhay. Ibig sabihin, makakakita po kayo na mga kinain na kanila mga anak dahil sa gutom. So, grabe po. Read the whole chapter of, of bo, for the five chapters at bibigat ang pakiramdam ninyo na describe ni Jeremiah yung, yung doom. Yung doom na nangyari sa Israel. Hello? Pinagpapatay lahat ng natira sa Jerusalem at halos walang iniwan na buhay ang mga Babylonians. So si Jeremiah, no, sinusulat niya yung lamentation, describe niya yung grief niya, hindi. Hindi lang niya. Pero nire-represent na niya yung Israel, yung grief ng Israel, yung nangyari sa Israel. Na iwang sira-sira mga pader na nagprotekta sa city, na alam po natin yan, na nirebuild din, at niransak at giniba po ang Solomon's Temple. So, completely katapusan. <laughs> Alam mo yung completely, wow, this is the worst thing that ever happened to Israel. Hello? Kaya sabi ko, landmark ito. Hello? And in addition, okay, to asking how, how terrible, we need to also ask why this happened. And alam po natin na nangyari po yung destruction ay dahil sa mga kasalanan ng Israel. And we all know that Jeremiah was preaching for 40 years, preaching to them to repent, but they were not listening. Lamentations 1.5, the Lord has brought her grief. Because of her many sins. Sino rito yung, alam mo yon? may pinagdadaanan ka sa buhay mo. Talaga, you were grieving. At alam mo, resulta siya ng kasalanan na nagawa mo. 
Ayan no? lamentation. The Lord has brought her grief because of her many sins. Eh, grabe, pinamper kayo ng Panginoon, pero pasaway talaga. Na talagang winarni nga na hindi ito yung parang nagising ng si Lord, may tantrum siya, sinira lang. No, 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 no. Talagang consequences na ito ng kasalanan ng Israel, ng karebeldihan ng Israel. Lamentations 1.22, You have dealt with me because of all my sins. Remember, si Jeremiah nagsusulat, hindi ibig sabihin may sin si Jeremiah, but nire-represent niya yung Israel. Okay? So sabi niya, you have dealt with me because of all my sins. Lamentations 3.39, Why should the living complain when punished for their sins? Lamentations 1.20, See, Lord, how distressed I am. I am in torment within. And in my heart, I am disturbed, for I have been most rebellious. So, ibig sabihin, this happened because of their sins. You know, listen to me po. Sin has devastating consequences. Kahit hindi ngayon, hindi mo maranasan ngayon, yan, yan tayo, kaya tayo tutuloy-tuloy sa kakasalanan natin kasi parang, Parang wala namang consequences. But I want to tell you, eventually, mag rip ka. You will rip the consequences of your actions. And you know what? Listen to me. Once you nag ka, nung, nung consequences, it will bring so much sorrow, grief, and misery in your life. Hindi right away, But we will eventually experience consequence. At nangyari na nga yun. Yung kinakatakutan ni Jeremiah na, di ba, na, 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 na winawarning nga niya yung mga tao, it happened. Yung akala nila, boss sila, wala makakatalo sa kanila. Yan ang Babylonians. Hello? And even si Jeremiah, hindi siya makapaniwala sa nangyari. And he was grieving. Grieving. Hindi ko na may explain. Hahaba tayo kapag pinakitaan ko yun ng mga verses explaining the grief, the pain, the misery, the depression, the darkness. Hello? May kausap po ba ako rito? Hello? But I want to tell you, in chapter 3, listen to me, lumitaw yung verse na binasa ko kanina. Lang ka usap. Do na lumitao. Magugulat po kayo in the midst of the grief, in the midst of the gloom and doom, right in the middle of the book of misery. Because ang lamentations po ay may chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can see in chapter 3 sa bandang gitna 19 to 24. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, habang naglalament, habang umiiyak, habang nagbubuhos ng, alam mo yun, ng, ng sakit sa manan loob, ng, um, ng, 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 ng grief. No naglalabas ng grief, okay, si, 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 si Jeremiah, inspired by the Holy Spirit, lumitaw, nagdingning ang steadfast love Mercy at faithfulness ni Lord sa gitna ng chapters of grief and sorrow. Na gusto ko lang puntaanan, listen to me, tingin mabuti sa akin. Are you grieving? Cast all your cares to the Lord. Okay lang maglament. Okay lang maggrieve. Okay lang hindi maging okay sabihin mo sa Panginoon niyan. Kung gusto mo, i-describe mo. Para lumitaw. Para magningning. Yung kailangan magningning na magpapalakas sa'yo. Ang problema kasi natin, oo, nasasaktan tayo. Okay? Pini-Facebook natin. Nire-reklamo natin sa katabi natin. Hindi tayo nagre-reklamo sa kay Lord. Feeling natin hindi pwede mag-reklamo kay Lord. Yun ang nga may lamentation, so pwede ka mag-reklamo. And sa dulo, marirealize mo, shocks, ba't ako nagre-reklamo? Consequences ito ng actions ko. Kaya nga, di ba, nabasa natin kanina, ba't magre-reklamo yung mga taong consequences lang naman yun, nung action din niya? Hello? Magreklamo ako kay Lord, 
eventually marirealize mo sa dali ba't nga ba ako nagrereklamo? May lilitaw na liwanag. Do sa gitna, grabe! Nang chapters of depression, lumitaw yung message of future hope. Hello? May kausap po ba ako rito? Lumitaw yung steadfast love ni Lord. Lumitaw yung mercy niya. Lumitaw yung faith, yung, yung faithfulness niya. At alam po natin yan, na narealize si Jeremiah, sandali lang, hindi naman talaga kami totally consumed o hindi naman kami totally destroyed. Una, because there was a remnant, para lang alam ninyo, ang ibig sabihin ng remnant, hindi totally na wipe out. May mga nadala sa Babylon. Tama po ba? Na exile. So hindi talaga completely dinestroy. Kasi pre-deserve yung remnant ng Jews. At may mga na-exile to Babylon who will carry out God's plan. Hello? Pangalawa, because there was a promise of future restoration. Kaya in Jeremiah 29.11, ayan, ito yun. Ito yun yan. I have plans for you. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Hello? Yes, malupit ang judgment and punishment, yet God had a plan to restore back the land. Kaya doon na nag-pop up, doon nag-explode. Kaya ang central theme ng lamentation ay, ay itong verse na ito. That in the midst of sin, in the midst of the bravery, in the midst of sorrow, destruction, heartache, God's mercies and compassion are greater still. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Come on! You know, tingin mabuti sa akin, hindi ko alam what you've been through. 2022. O baka may mga, may mga bigat kayong dala na galing pa ng 2021 or 2020 or 2019. Hindi ko alam. O baka 2018 pa o 2017 pa. Hello? Now, hindi mapapangako ng pagsigaw po natin ng Happy New Year! Na hindi siya magic. Na kapag nag-celebrate tayo ng Ho! Oh, Happy New Year! Ibig sabihin yung asawa natin automatic magbabago. Actually, di ba? O kaya yung ating mga anak automatic titino. Di ba? Alam niyo naman ang tao. Kunyari, yakap sa'yo nanay mo, New Year eh, ma. Sorry na. Pero babalik ulit sa dati. Hindi naman automatic yun eh. Magbabago na po ako. Alam naman natin na pw- pwede. Pero pwede rin. Alam naman natin ang New Year's resolution hanggang two weeks lang eh. Magda-diet na ako. Ang dami natin mga sinusulat na mga gagawin natin tapos hindi naman natin nagagampanan eh. So, at 20, you know, New Year is not magic na parang as if na parang 2022 Grabe, may iwan na talaga, goodbye. Tapos grabe, bagong buhay, bagong ako, bagong asawa ko, bagong anak ko, bagong nanay, tatay. You... Hello? Hindi naman instant na babangon ang negosyo natin. Porque, di ba, tinalo na natin ang payslip natin kahapon. Hindi naman automatic yan. Maybe 2023, some of you will still undergo mental and emotional health, depression, anxiety, or heartaches. Or dadaan pa rin tayo sa pagsubok. Or may mga ilan sa inyo, you, are, you, you, you will still be under God's discipline because of the consequences of the sins you've committed. Kasi hindi magic ball ang new year. But listen to me. But Jeremiah was able to see God's mercy in the worst circumstance. Hello? Pinakita niya, oh, hindi perfect ang buhay. Pero may perfect ka na department. Okay, okay naman, pero may ibang department. May mga secret pains ka. Hello? Hello? May mga unanswered prayers ka. O may mga prayers ka na you are still waiting to be answered. Hindi mo alam kailan sa 2023 masasagot. Hindi mo alam kailan ka ulit magkakatrabaho. Hindi mo alam kailan magbabago ang anak mo. Hindi mo alam kailan, di ba, babangon muli ang life group mo. 
Maawa na tell you, okay, sana ngayong taon na ito, ang panghawakan natin, amen, isang mercy, ang faithfulness, at ang steadfast love ng Panginoon. How did Jeremiah describe it? Unang-una, dinescribe niya, sabi niya, ano man na nangyayari? Grabe, masalimuot, and I can't believe this is happening. Death everywhere. The Temple of Solomon, goodbye, the walls, we're now a slave. Wala na wipe. Diba? Completely destroy, com- destroyed. But unang-una, pinaalala ng Panginoon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, first, that His steadfast love never ceases. Hello? How did Jeremiah describe it? Unang-una, sabi niya, His steadfast love never ceases. Who? Sabi niya, but the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Are you excited about this? Yes. Na steadfast love daw ng Panginoon, hindi daw kailanman mawawala. Amen. Steadfast love in, in ESV version. NASB, ang, ang ginamit is loving kindness. NIV, ang ginamit ay great love. NLT, ang ginamit ay faithful love. Tingnan natin yung Hebrew word. Hebrew word is chesed or kesed. Kesed, which means loyal love. Pinarusahan mo kami, Panginoon, but Lord, your steadfast love or your loyal love never ceases. Kesed is a kind of love you can depend on. Hello? Ito po yung love talaga na nilolong mo. Wow. ba? Yung, yung ano, loyal sa'yo. This is what everyone longs for. Yung alam mong hindi man bababae, hindi man lalalaki. Stick lang sa'yo. Yung minamahal mo. Hello? Yung affection, kilig. Yung kuryente. Mawawala. Hello? Pero yung, alam mo yon yung loyalty. Sige, kahit mawala na yan. Pero I want you to be loyal to me. Yung innate longing natin is to be loved without condition. Kahit na maamoy mo hininga ko, kahit na tumaba ako, hello, kahit na wala akong pera, kahit na makita mo yung worst side ko, mahal mo pa rin ako. That's loyal love. At kahit may sumayaw sa'yo, 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 sa harapan mo, sabi mo, malis-alis ka dyan. May asawa na ako. Yeah, yan ang gusto po natin. Hindi lang yung, I love you, crush kita. <laughs> diba? Pero walang alam mo yun. Wa- hindi mo alam kung ano ba to Loyal ba ito? What we really want is a loyal affection. Hello? Hello? The Bible introduces us to a God who has a generous commitment to His human partners. Na kahit na ilang beses na paulit-ulit na nagkasal ang Israel. Hello? Dinemonstrate ng ating Diyos ang kanyang loyal love sa pinili niyang bansa. Kahit na may kahit pa. Kahit naging faithless, kahit naging selfish, at kahit naging self-sabotaging sila. Now, hindi ibig sabihin ng loyal love is tolerating love kasi kailangan niyang parusahan para mat- magtanda, matuto. Nga pala, pag tinolerate mo ang isang tao, magtanong-tanong ka na, mahal ko ba to? At kapag tinotolerate mo, okay, o tinotolerate ka na isang tao, tanungin mo rin, teka, mahal ba talaga ako nito? Ba't ako tinotolerate nito? Loyal love is not tolerating love. Okay? Hello? Hindi tinolerate ng Diyos ang Israel, pinaparusahan niya ito, pero alam, na-remind si Jeremiah na sandali lang loyal ang Diyos sa amin. Ano man ang mangyari, hindi siya lalaya sa amin. Ano man ang mangyari, hindi niya kami iiwan. Ano man ang mangyari, mahal niya kami. Ayun ang ipiplit ko, ayun ang ipagpipray ko, ayun ang ipapaalala ko. 
sa Panginoon. The Bible makes it clear how enduring God's loyal love is for us. Kaya si Moses, hello, ito yung pliniplit ni Moses eh. Nung nag intercede siya in behalf of the people of Israel because they've rebelled against God, he pleaded for his Kesed, Numbers 14.19, in accordance with your great love. Kesed, forgive the sins of these people just as you have pardoned them from the time they left Egypt. Yan yung pinipli din ni Moses eh, Lord. Diba? Sana patawarin mo kami according to your kesed. Nga pala kapatid, ito ha, please, tingin mabuti sa akin. Dapat settle tayo dyan. Ano man ang gawin mo? Mahal ka ng Diyos. At loyal sa iyo ang Diyos. Huwag mo iisipin, hindi ako niya ako tatanggapin. Hindi na ako babalik. Kasi hindi niya ako tatanggapin. Piniryo na niya ako. Hindi po nang pipiryod ang Panginoon. Covenant niya sa iyo habang buhay niya. It never ceases. Hello? Hello? Yun din ang plinit ni David. Nung siya ay nagkasala, okay, ng adultery, murder, at hypocrisy, okay, ano pong nangyari? David repented and pleaded for God's loyal love. Psalm 51, once niya, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your kesed. Pinaalala na niya. Ano na, kasala ako, ito na pinaparusahan mo ko. Pero alam ko, hindi mo ko if of her sake. Have mercy on me according to your kesed, your loyal love. Hello? Hello? So pag sinabi mong, alam mo, loyal talaga si Lord, alam mo, minahal ni Lord, hindi po maayos yung pag-iisip ng mga taong to. Kasi kung maayos yung pag-iisip mo, nakita mo na yung signs and wonders ng Panginoon, dapat sinunod mo na si Lord. Eh. Exodus time pa lang, kitang-kita mo na, naghati ang dagat. At kung ano-ano mga milagro. Pero pambihira, linggo lang, magre-rebelde na, magre-reklamo, matatakot. Talagang parang sorry ha, parang wala sa pag-iisip. Yun ang minahal ng Panginoon eh. Pero naging faithful siya dun sa covenant niya sa Israel. Hello? Listen to me, maasahan mo na sa gitna ng grief mo, sa gitna ng darkness or discipline or heartache, His love never ceases. It is steadfast. This year, ayoko na muna mag-make ng any promise. Kasi ang daming promises na pakain noon sa Biblia. Or ayoko na muna magpatong ng goals, dreams, visions. Ito ang nakikin... No. Hindi natin alam what lies ahead. Hindi ko alam. Okay, kung ano pa rin yung dinadala mo ng 2023. Hindi ko alam. But isa lang alam ko. His steadfast love never ceases. It will never cease. Mga mag-asawa, hindi ko alam what you're going through. His steadfast love never ceases. Estudyante, I don't know what you're going through, but His steadfast love never ceases. Amen. Mga nagtatrabaho rito, ay hindi ko alam kung anong hinahabol nyo sa buhay. Hindi ko alam kung ano mga kawalan ninyo. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga paghihirap ninyo. But I want you na sana sa gitna ng paghihirap, pagsubok, depression, Anxiety, sana magnining, lumitaw sa inyo. Sandali. His steadfast love never ceases. Loyal siya sa akin. He is not against me. He is for me. He's, I am the apple of God's eyes. And I am His agenda. Malaki ang universe. But ako, yung mata niya nakatutok sa akin, sa marriage ko, sa anak ko, sa pamilya ko, sa finances ko, it will never cease. Mukha lang pinabayaan niya ako, mukha lang parang iniwan na niya ako sa aking karibelde, ang kalokohan, talagang mga, ay, nako, mga kadramahan. Yan, tami mo sa katami mo, kadramahan. O sige, lakasan mo pa, kadramahan. Ay, alam mo na mamadrama yung katabi mo. But hindi ka iniwan ng Diyos, tama na ang drama. Hello, 2023, wow, still ang taas ng bilihin, lalo na ang sibuyas ngayon. But His steadfast love never ceases. Kakayanin natin yan. Ano man ang pagsubok, why? Because of His steadfast love. Number two, lumitaw. 
that His mercies never come to an end. Sa gitna, you know, the great depression ng Israel, lumitaw, inspired by the Holy Spirit. The revelation that God gave to Jeremiah is this, hey, iyan man ang nangyari, but I want to tell you, my mercy will never come to an end, and they are new every morning. ESV and NLT, ginamit ang mercies. Pero ang NASB at NIV, ginamit ang compassion. Is compassion. ba? Diba? Never ends. Yung Hebrew word is rakam. Yung Hebrew word na ginamit is rakam. Which is related to the Hebrew word for womb, which is rekem. Rakam in the Bible, in the Hebrew Bible, is centered in a person's core and the word invites us to imagine a mother's tender feelings for her vulnerable infant and conveys intense emotion. Hindi mo maintindihan ko wala kang anak. Ako naiintindihan ko to. Hello? Nung sinilang ko si Jose, na, grabe, naiintindihan ko to. Mahalin tulad ang Diyos sa isang ina o nanay na punong-puno ng emosyon, pagmamahal, pag-aaruga sa kanyang anak. Pero po yung rakam ay hindi lang emotional word, action word din po siya. Hello? Na hindi lang, di ba, nakikita sa emosyon, okay? Pero dinemonstrate ito sa pamamagitan ng action. Surprisingly, the word is used most often to describe God's actions motivated by His emotions. Grabe. Yung emosyon ng Panginoon sa'yo, ako na hindi na ako ngayon eh. Grabe ang pag-ibig ko kay Joseph. It's, it's, you know, it's, unexp- I want the best for him. Really? Really? And the, I don't, mag, alam mo yung sisipo din lang siya, ah, mag-aalala ka. Ang dami ng, Papasok si what if, what if, kailangan natin suguto sa doktor. Mag-anak kayong lahat. Pero bago ka mag-anak, sagutin muna kayo sana ng nililigawan ninyo. Amen. So para siyang nanay na hindi niya kaya makita ang kanyang anak na nahihirapan o nagdurusa, yan ang mercy at compassion ni Lord. Hello? 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 And one can never experience true compassion without understanding the rakam. Mothers truly understand this. And this is what God's compassion means. His compassion to you is, you know, it never ends. And they are in you every morning. Hello? You know, Nemo? Kahit nagkasala ka today, mag-sorry ka lang, bukas, wala na yun, ipatatawarin ka. Tama po ba? Hello? Hindi nag-i-end yung compassion niya sa'yo. Kahit gano'n ka pa, alam mo yung matindi, yung pinag, alam mo yung matindi, lahat ng mga kasalanan mo, every day may, alam mo yun, may, may, may baon na Mercy ang nanay mo and, you know, they are new every morning. Hello? Yan ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa atin at yan ang awa, grace, at mercy niya. Hello? Nakikita niyo ba ang sarili ninyo na ganyan kayo mahal ng ating Panginoon? At ang sabi rito, hindi matatapos, walang end. Tapos fresh. Every morning, I fresh. Grabe, araw-araw, hindi every year. It's every morning. Pagkagising at pagbangon mo sa umaga, ay meron kang baon na whole new fresh batch of God's mercy. Woo! Hello? Kaya, no matter what you did last night, what matter what you did last year, failure mo, you've hurt God, you've hurt the people around you. I want to tell you, you can tap on the fact that every day can be a fresh start sa Panginoon. And it's fresh every morning. Kapatid, alam ko, matagal, lagi na natin itong sinasabi, but totoo po ito, walang period kay Lord. 
Laging may grace at mercy at compassion available for you kahit ikaw na yung pinaka-worst na tao sa balat ng universe. May grace palagi available, may second chance palagi na available, at maaasahan mo, if you will repent, your daddy God will always and always accept you. People will put pe pe a period on people, but not God. His mercy is beyond measure. Abundant. Nag-uumapaw. Hindi na uubusan ng supply. Kaya alam mo, tingin mabuti sa akin, yung mga tao talagang pinatawad ng Panginoon, yun ang totoong magmamahal ng tao eh. Kasi worse ka eh, pero tinanggap ka eh, worse ka eh. Pero minahal ka eh, winelcome ka eh, pinatawad ka. Definitely, hindi ka man tutuldok din ng tao. Yan ang pag-ibig na ating Panginoon. 2023, Lord, bagong taon. Habi ng Panginoon sa iyo, anak, hindi nga, hindi nga bagong taon eh, kahit bagong araw eh. Lapit ka sa akin, you can have a fresh start. You can tap on, you know, you can plead on the mercy of God that never ends. You can plead on the mercy of God that is due every morning. Hello? Magsisiking kayo, tama po ba? Life groups, plead on this. Lord, huwag, huwag niyong basta iwala tong word na ito. Lord, we want a fresh start. Lord, it's new every morning. Sabi mo yan, great is your faithfulness. And we want to tap on that. We're pleading on that, God. Make us new people. Kasi sabi mo, Lord, hindi nga kada taon eh. Araw-araw. Yan nga yung gusto namin maranasan yan. Amen? Amen. Tinan mo nga yung katabi mo, sabihin mo, may pag-asa ka pa. pag Alam mo, sa mata ko, wala na. Pero sa Panginoon, meron pa. And number three and the last, tapos na po ako. Kasi gusto ko, ayan, wala tayo oras, gusto ko, ma-enjoy nyo pa rin tong holiday. Number three is this, great is God's faithfulness. Ay, grabe! Woo! Happy New Year! <laughs> Great is God's faithfulness! Bien, nandiyan ka pa ba? Saksak mo yan! Ha? He is faithful! He's faithful to you! Faithfulness in this verse is the Hebrew word emunaw. Emunaw. Which means firmness, fidelity, steadfastness, or steadiness. Your faithfulness niya sa iyo, sa pamilya mo. Grabe, immovable yan, steady yan. Ikaw ang hindi steady. Lord, parang gumalaw ka. Hindi, hindi ako gumalaw. Lord, umalis ka eh. Sa nila, hindi ako umalis. Ikaw ang umalis. Hindi, Lord, nawala ka, lumayo. Ay, sa nila, hindi ako yung lumayo. Ikaw yung lumayo. He, great is thy faithfulness. Emo now, firm. Steadfast, steadiness. Alam ni Jeremiah, and he was reminded by the Holy Spirit, Jeremiah, alam ko that you were given to your enemies. But I want you to know that God is faithful to Israel no matter what my remnant, you will be restored if you will repent. Hello? You can tap on that fact. Plead that in your prayer. Lord, great is your faithfulness to my family. May promise ng restoration sa pamilya ko. May promise ng hope sa pamilya ko. My family won't stay this way. My child won't stay this way. My marriage won't stay this way. My life won't stay this way, God. My finances won't stay this way. My spiritual life won't stay this way. Great. Is your faithfulness? Sige, palakpak. 
And gusto ko sa gitna ng depression, sa gitna ng kawalan, sa gitna ng problema ng pagsubok, kantahin nyo yan. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. That's why ending. Ang kasunod po nito, ang sabi po ni Jeremiah, is this, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in Him. Alam niyo po kung anong meron. Hindi natin alam what lies in 2023. But isa lang alam natin, there's hope. There's future hope. There's coming hope. Because of God's great love. Because of God's loyal love for us. Grief and lament, please do it. It's okay to be brutally honest to God about your pain, worries, anxieties. Cast your cares to Him, please. O mo itago, eh, baka magalit sa akin si Lord, baka pitikin ako. Anong ginagawa mo sa akin? Nagreklamo ko sa akin. Hindi. Lamentation is an example that you can lament. Sulat mo, oh Lord. Lalim naman ang sugat. Lord, ang sakit. Bakit niya ako niloko? Minahal ko siya. Ayan. Kamag-anak pa naman, pero pat ka dito? Sinaktang kami, niloko kami. Hello? Life group mentor ko pa naman ito. Inaasahan ko, pero ba't ganun? Yeah, lament, lament. Just, you know, January, hindi naman tayo magsasaya. Iiyak tayo, seek first. Lament. Grieve. Cry. Hello? But do not just end there. You plead, you pray, you declare, and remember God's steadfast love. Amen. His mercy and His faithfulness. Because there is hope. Ba't tayo magsasaya? Ba't ang saya mo? Hindi ka pa naman napopromote. Oo. Ba't ang saya mo? Hindi ka pa naman sinasagot. Oo, alam ko. Eh, ba't ang saya mo? Hindi pa naman kayo nagkakabalikan. Yes. Pero masaya ako kasi alam ko na mahal ako ng Diyos. And His love for me is loyal. At alam ko, His mercies are new every... His mercies never end and they are new every morning and His faithfulness is great for my life, for my family. Oh Lord, that is God's stead fast love for all of us. And sa ganitong paraan ko, gusto, alam ko na banal na Spiritu Santo, gusto ng Panginoon, umpisahan natin ang taon, tapping, remembering the steadfast love of God, His mercy and His faithfulness sa ating mga buhay. I want you to stand up right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to close your eyes. Everyone, lift up your hands. Especially mga nasa online na wala nakakakita sa'yo. I want you to lift your hands up. Kasabay ng bagong taon, wow! Unang araw ng bagong taon. We are remembering the steadfast love of God. His mercy and His faithfulness. It will never cease. It will never end. It's new every morning. It's great. Oh, thank you, Lord. The steadfast love of the Jesus, His mercy is never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is 
life fullness oh Lord great is thy faithfulness the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases his mercy sa lalaki. Sige po, gawin po natin ngayon. Thank you. Get, get a partner, babae, babae, lalaki, lalaki. Sige po, ayan, kapartner mo, Coach Nomer. Ay, Coach Norman. Ayan o. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Partner. Sige po. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to hug each other. And it's like, you know, God hugging you and telling you, anak, I never left you. is loyal to you. My mercy for you is new every morning and it never ceases. And I am faithful to you. Gusto ko tang ihag ngayon. Gusto ko sabihin, nakakatakot man at nakakatakot man ang taon. Gusto ko sabihin sa inyo, di ako umalis sa pwesto ko. Pwede ikaw yung gumalaw. Ikaw yung lumayo. Ikaw yung umalis. Gusto ko sabihin sa iyo, hindi ako aalis. I am loyal. Especially that you accepted my son as your Lord and Savior. Covenant ko sa iyo. Ang presensya ko, ang pag-ibig ko, ang ko, ang grasya ko, ang faithfulness ko. Hindi mawawala, hindi magmamaliw. At gusto kong ipaalam yan sa iyo. Nakakatakot man, pero kasama mo ako. I'm sorry. I need to discipline you. Kung pwede, sana hindi na lang. <laughs> pero hindi pag-ibig ko, hindi tolerating. Pero sa pagtadaanan mong pagsubok, hirap, hindi ako bibitaw. Hindi ako aalis. Hindi ako tatakbo. And there's a promise of restoration. I wanna tell you, I have plans for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and you know what 600 years later jesus christ died kung saan pinen ni jeremiah ito mga kataga na ito is the same place where jesus christ died on the cross at golgotha proving na ano man ang pinagdadaanan mo ngayon Yes, masakit. But I want to tell you, there is a promised restoration. There is salvation because God is sovereign. And He knows what He is doing. There is none like Him. And He loves you so much. Tell the Lord how much you love Him. Come on. Raya Rabashi Karabahande. Thank you, Lord. Receive His love. Receive His love. 
Balutin ka ng pag-ibig ng Diyos ngayong bagong taon. Ano man ang nakaraan, ano man ang nagawa mo, gano ka bigat, gano ka lalim, gano ka taas ang kasalanan mo. Mas mataas, mas malalim, mas makapal, mas matindi ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa iyo. If you will repent and go back to Him, He will forgive you. Raya Rabashi Karaba. Lord, salamat po. Amen. Let's sing this song. Raise your hands. Come on, worship the Lord with all your heart. There is none. Touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There is none like you. Oh, there is none. search for all eternity Lord and find there is none like you Touch my heart like you do, and I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Talk to the Lord, talk to God. Talk to the Lord. gusto ko i-highlight. Sa gitna ng nangyayari na yan na pagsubok sa buhay ko, gusto kong i-highlight. At gusto kong pagkatiwalaan. Gusto kong sumandal sa iyong pag na loyal sa akin. Gusto kong sumandal at habag mo na hindi natatapos at gusto kong magtiwala sa katapatan mo sa akin tapat ka sa akin tapat ka sa pamilya ko tapat ka sa marriage ko tapat ka sa buhay ko at yun lang sapat para sabihin yes 
2023 is really a happy new year. I don't know what lies ahead, but I can be assured that I am greatly and deeply loved. I am loved by the Father, and His love for me never ceases. There is no Touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like. Kung first time mo today, first time mo, alam mo na parang appointment ito ng Dios. Grabe, unang araw ng taon naririnig mo itong salit na anan Dios at alam mo para sa yon. I want to tell you na hindi po kailangan ma-depress na because Jesus came and that's a message. Last, you know, December 25, Jesus came, became a man. His God became a man to die for us, our hope. Walang sitwasyon na period sa Panginoon. Laging may liwanag sa dulo dahil dumating na ang liwanag. And that is Jesus Christ. Sanggapin mo si Jesus. Ngayong araw na ito, kung first time mo, first time mo today, o baka matagal ka nang kumaaten at ngayon, nagdi-decision ka na na tanggapin si Jesus sa buhay mo. Do it right now. Tanggapin mo si Jesus sa buhay mo. Nang ikaw ay maligtas sa iyong mga kasalanan, sa impyano. At may pangako na habang buhay na makakasama ang Panginoon sa langit, dahil sa salvation na dulot ni Heso Kristo. Sundan mo ako sa panalangin, sabi mo, Jesus, ngayong bagong taon, tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Pumasok ka sa aking buhay dahil simula ngayon, sayong-sayo na ako. Wow, what a fresh way to start this new year by accepting you as my Lord and Savior. Starting today, this year will be the best year. Not because may mga pwedeng breakthroughs or mga answered prayer, but because I have you now in my life. That's why it's the best year for me. Salamat po. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, lahat magsabi ng Amen! Happy New Year! Sige po, sampung taon. Sabihin mo, you are loved. Come on! Come on! Come on! Touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity and find Okay. I will bless you, okay? Ng benediction natin and then sisigaw ako ng Happy New Year. Gusto ko tumalong kayo. Okay? Hindi para tumangkat kayo. Hello? Hindi para tumangkat kayo. Taas sa kami na gusto tumangkat. Okay. Hindi ko sinasabi, pag tumalong ka, tatangkat ka. Okay. Hindi ka rin tatalong para tumaas ang sweldo mo. Pero I declare! Alam mo, nararamdaman ko, grabe ang blessings 2023. So, tatalon ka. Pagkatas ang benediction, sabi mo, I receive. Sisigaw ako, Happy New Year! Sigaw nyo, Happy New Year! Sabay-sabay tayo, tatalon kayo! Bakit? Dahil sa pag-ibig, awa, habag, at katapatan ng Diyos, yeah! you are loved! Sabi mo nga sa katipan mo, you are loved! This year! Sabi mo, this year, you are loved! Yes! Kahit walang boyfriend o girlfriend, you are loved! Raise your hands. May the Lord bless you, keep you, make His face shine upon you, give you peace.